The previous video described how to import the surface geometry and configure preferences in Converge Studio. Now we will begin working on the geometry. You need to create boundaries such as the piston, liner, and head and assign surface triangles to these different boundaries. Assigning surface triangles to boundaries in Converge Studio is called flagging boundaries. Boundaries allow you to set boundary conditions. You can also group boundaries into regions such as the cylinder, intake system, and exhaust system, and then set up initial conditions for the regions. Converge Studio uses boundary fences to simplify the process of flagging boundaries. Boundary fences are a tool used only by Converge Studio and do not affect your Converge simulation in any way. In the Geometry dock, click on the Boundary button and then on the Find Clean tab. Click the Find button. Converge Studio will draw boundary fences where the angle between the normal vectors of adjacent triangles is between the upper and lower bound. If you wish to delete all boundary fences, click the Clean button. Note that you cannot undo this operation by going to Edit, Undo. There are some operations that you can undo in Converge Studio and some that you cannot, so be careful when making changes to the geometry. Especially if you have a complex geometry, the Automated Boundary Fence tool will not create all of the boundary fences that you need and you will need to manually draw some boundary fences. For example, if you zoom in on the geometry, you can see that there's not a light pink boundary fence between the head and the liner. In the Geometry dock, click on the Fence tab. Verify that the By Selected Edges radio button is highlighted. In the Objects toolbar, select the Edge Selection Criterion and from the drop-down menu, select By Arc. If this toolbar is not visible, go to View, Toolbars, and check the Objects Toolbar checkbox. Carefully click on a single edge between the liner and the head. To get a better view of a point in the geometry, you can select a center of rotation by right-clicking on a part of the surface and clicking View At. Zoom out to verify that Converge Studio has highlighted the closed loop between the head and the liner and click the Mark Fence button. If you click on the wrong edge, or if Converge Studio does not highlight a closed loop, press the Escape key to clear your selection and try again. Now, repeat this process to mark boundary fences between the head and each of the four ports. You also need to divide the intake port, which is the longer of the two ports, into two boundaries so you can set different initial conditions. At the location where the intake port converges slightly, click on an edge. If Converge Studio highlights a partial arc around the port, click another edge and Converge Studio will highlight another partial arc. Repeat this process until you have selected the edges that form a closed loop around the port where it converges slightly. Click on the Mark Fence button to create the boundary fence. If you make an incorrect selection, use the Clear All or Clear Last buttons. If you need to create short but precisely placed boundary fences, go to the Fence tab and click the Between Two Vertices radio button. Converge Studio will automatically change the selection criterion to Vertex and the Entity Selection Filter to Any. Click on two vertices and click the Mark Fence button to create a boundary fence between them. Now, create fences for the remaining ports. Next, we will create boundaries and assign the appropriate surface triangles to them. In the Geometry dock, click on the Boundary button and then on the Flag tab. Click the plus button to open the Boundary Definition dialog box. Type Piston and click OK. You will see this boundary in the Boundary list of the Flag tab. Although you can create multiple boundaries at once, for clarity we will start with a single boundary. Rotate the geometry so that you can see the bottom of the cylinder. Choose the Triangle Selection Criterion and the By Boundary Fence Entity Selection Filter. Click on any surface triangle on the bottom of the cylinder. Converge Studio will highlight all of the surface triangles within the boundary fence. Select the piston in the boundary list and then click apply. The surface triangles will change color to match the assigned color for this boundary. 
Now create liner and head boundaries. Click on any surface triangle on the liner to select the liner. Click liner in the boundary list and click apply. Repeat this process for the head. Create a boundary named spark plug. Click on the surface triangles near the center of the head to select the spark plug. Assign these surface triangles to the spark plug boundary. The intake port is the longer of the two ports and has a fuel injector on it. Recall that we created a boundary fence halfway up the intake port. Now we will divide the intake port into two boundaries. Create intake port top and intake port bottom boundaries. Click on any surface triangle in the part of the intake port closer to the head and assign these surface triangles to the intake port bottom boundary. Assign the rest of the port triangles to the intake port top boundary. Create a boundary named exhaust port and assign the surface triangles from the other port to the exhaust port boundary. It is possible that some of the automatically created boundary fences cause some small strips of surface triangles to remain unselected while you are flagging the intake and exhaust port boundaries. Change the selection mode to box. Now click and drag over the exhaust port where the unused boundary fences are to select the surface triangles in this area. Assign them to the exhaust port boundary. Repeat this process for the intake port top and intake port bottom boundaries. In the next video, we will continue creating and flagging boundaries.